One of the big advantages of the way WordPress handles images or any media files is that you can reuse the same material in several different posts. But with that advantage comes an extra responsibility. If, as we're going to do here, we erase a file, we have to make sure that every instance of it has been taken care of properly. And I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Let's go to our dashboard here, and we're going to find our media library. We go into there. And this image here, IT image, is being used on many posts. I'll show you. Here they are, different posts using the same image. So that's great. We've taken it from this library and we've reused it. But what I'm going to do now is I've decided that I'm getting rid of this image. I don't need it anymore. I don't want it on the site. So I'm going to hit delete. It asks me if I really want to do that, and I say, yes, indeed, I do. Okay, so now it's gone from our library. Now if I go over here and I refresh this post, one of the things I'm going to notice is... There we go. Suddenly, I've got a broken image. Okay, so it shows me that right in my editor here. So all I have to do is just remember to go in and do this. Okay, and update my post, of course, before I leave. Now, again, we do this over here. So you're going to need to do this for every single one. Now, there isn't any way to quickly tell which ones are using the image. So uh, you're either going to have to remember that or have made a list or however you want to keep track of it. There we go again. Now we've got our broken image here. Do the same thing again. So you would need to go through each post and erase them.